This week's episode of Awesome Cast is brought to you by Drobo, the lovely people who will make sure that your data is safe at all times. Go ahead and check it out at awesomecast.com. Click on the Drobo link on the right-hand side to learn more. Welcome to the Awesome Cast, number 79 or so. Um, I'm Sorg here in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, and this is your Awesome Cast where we uh, talk about awesome tech type things and the internet sometimes. and stuff. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes yes. we get around to it. Exactly. Um, I, this is, yeah, I'm Sorg, and uh, with us, oh, wait, I gotta make sure he's on the right one, is Rob De La Creta. Hey. 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 He is drinking milk tonight. How are you doing, Rob? I am drinking milk. You know, so funny story. Here's the thing that happened. Somebody came to my house a while ago, like over a year ago, and uh, I had a party thing. And they left like the the dark chocolate uh, Hershey syrup. And they were like, I don't want it. You can have it. They left like three quarters of the container. I'm not the kind of person to keep chocolate syrup around. But since that happened, I am the biggest fan of chocolate milk. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna, it's just going to go to waste. I may as well use it. I'm going to have a glass of milk. No, wait. I'm going to have a glass of chocolate milk. Life upgrade. Thank you. There you go. There you go. And on the couch, Chachi. What kind of life are you living that chocolate milk is a life upgrade? An extravagant one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Hey. How are you doing this week, Josh? I'm doing well. Of course, of Chachi says yeah. .net. I'm wearing a sweater vest. He's wearing a sweater vest collar. tonight. He brought, he brought the style as he sits. He's going to prom. As he yeah. sits beside a water heater and talks about technology with <laughs> us. Hello. Mm-hmm. What, what, what's, that, what's that sound in touching a water heater? What this is my, that? This is my friend, this Betsy. Is your friend. At least you're yeah. warm over there. Ooh. So there you go. There you go. And, she's oh, smooth. She's what? <laughs> smooth and toasty. <laughs> smooth and toasty. And also with us is Josh the Jackhammer Sager. <laughs> wow. The Be- jackhammer? Wow. Yes, because we had, after coming off his amazing performance at Yin's Bowl 4. <laughs> there it is, guys. Thanks to Rob De La Creta for the photos. Those are amazing photos. <laughs> you are, it's fun. I was looking through the photos and it was like goofy face, goofy face, Josh yeah. Sager being the only one who looks like he knows what he's doing, goofy face. <laughs> I'm like, why am I smiling as I'm trying to tackle this? Well, Douglas was the amazing one. She seems so happy when she's trying to wrap you up. Yeah. Oh, no, she was so happy. She yeah. was so ecstatic. Let me see if I can find that real yeah, quick. Yeah, she tried to rip my pants down. She did. <laughs> I think this is, this is actually the act of trying to rip your pants down yeah, right it is. there. Um, no, no. This one, I zoom by her and I score a touchdown. <laughs> so basically, if you're on, but basically, Yin's Bull is our uh, attempt to play football. Um, is that what you what call? mean? Attempt? I had seven touchdowns. Some of us, well, some of us are attempting. <laughs> you are succeeding. Um, you're the one with the jersey with your name on it. That's right. From when you we were calling played. your team the Sagers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was the Sagers versus the Woys. So really, yeah, not the Stroms. No, no, Woy. So yeah, Woy was intense too. I don't, yes. I don't know if you know this, but for the last two years, Woy has had this knack for making. Uh, goofy faces that make him look slightly more like a lawn gnome. <laughs> and he would wear the little yellow hat, yeah. which would make it there's, there's ten little, times worse. This him. year, yeah, all of the photos, he just looked angry. He did. He was determined. It he was, was so happy to play. He looks forward to it like six months out. Yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous. And there's it just loads here. And there's Anthony Klosky. There's a good kick by Norm. He's really Hills, good. Man. He is good. He is good. It, it, it's tremendous. Uh, and we call it flacco football. Yeah. Well, yes, it was flag, it's, it's, but Sager only has one speed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, so, it's flag until you can't reach them, and then people <laughs> knock you over. But I didn't tackle one person. I you didn't. I played very. You did. Restrained. You did. You did. Um, it, it's good time. It's good time. Nobody got hurt. It's all good. It's all good. This is this the first year nobody got hurt. Could be, yeah. yeah probably. Very well could be. Yeah. There were definitely some injuries. Like, Oh, wait, no. Somebody, uh, who was it? Somebody uh, like, sprained their thumb or something. Yeah, somebody okay. rammed their pinky into somebody else's chest. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that That is not is it, an injury. It, <laughs> it's got sweep. 
That's not it was like, no, no, I'm good. Oh, you in? No, no, it's still pinky hurts. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. <laughs> Awesome. You lose your man card over stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great because I mean, it's it's a bunch of geeks uh, all, all playing sports, like like when we play softball. Well, it, we, it's, yeah. it's fantastic because we really... As a group, we like to pretend that we're good at playing sports. <laughs> yeah, so. It's a pretty good game of pretend. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I it's mean, like, it, with the exception of a few of us... It, we're not good. <laughs> well, we tried the PSL. Yeah, well, we Remember tried that? PSL and we got destroyed. It was not. It was not the, good. We didn't finish a game. No, we, we got mercy ruled every time. Yeah, we yeah, had a yeah. chance to advance in the playoffs, but our coach said, "No, no, we'll give them time to get their players here and we'll play." That is true. We could have won mistake. by forfeit. Yeah, I that was a mistake. That. Yeah, that was a mistake. We didn't get out of the fifth inning one time. <laughs> nope. We would oh, lose geez. like twenty-eight to two. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're, oh, we're memories, not good. Memories, memories. So, speaking of geeks, um, <laughs> this is Josh's first time on Awesome Cast. Yes, it, it is. is. Now, you, not Hello. your first time in the studio, though. You were you were here for Freelance for Real. I was. You now on hiatus, Freelance for Real, uh, with your wife. I was. Yeah. Now, now you, the, the, let's introduce you to to this audience. Uh, tell us about the, the. You're still doing the LLC with her. Yeah. Yeah. And tell us about that. Um, so, uh, Rachel and I have this thing called second block studio and, um, second block studio.com. And basically we're, um, a creative shop and what we're working on right now are creative goods. And we have a book project that was gonna hit in the fall time this year, but it looks like it's going to be more the first quarter of next year where uh, her and your buddy, Will Rutherford, uh, the um, wrestling mayhem show. That's right. Have, uh, worked together to put together, um, this thing. I don't know what the official title is, but we're calling it Monster Haiku. And so there's a bunch of monster illustrations that Rachel have, has put together and then a bunch of haikus that Will has put together. And we're hoping to make a coffee table book and then donate all the proceeds to the March of Dimes. And, of course, his, he uh, writes haikus over at ThoughtfulRiot.com. Yeah. So if anybody wants to check out what he's doing in the meantime. Uh, so it, it's, been, it's been a fun project. I've actually been tossing it to a lot of people um, that are talking about poetry in one of the other podcasts I produce now. Um, you know, just, a, you know, it, it really seems, it, it, and he's, I think it's been a good outlet for him creatively over the years. So, yeah, it's yeah. good stuff. So, um, basically we, uh, do cool design projects, uh, websites, development, um, interactivity, and then we try to make our own goods and we're going to hopefully get them out on the market next year. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And aside from that, you're the, uh, yeah, I consider you the go-to guy for, for all things Adobe, particularly flash and, uh. And well, Air Flex. Well, that's not so much anymore. No, no, now that, no. Now that all that stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I wonder your opinion because I mean, we were talking about here about about how how uh, you don't want to get into this with no, me. <laughs> I think we do want to. I mean, well, no. Yeah, well, you're somebody. Well, we we haven't dealt, talked to somebody that actually deals head on with that stuff, and and you're seeing you know whatever winds are changing in that mm -hmm. in that line. Uh, you know, we kind of see. Well, you know, maybe I won't use Flash to play Hulu. You know, uh, you know, or, or you know, it doesn't matter. I have an iPhone. So, I mean, what does that mean to you in, in, in the, the development that you do? What are your considerations there? Um, well, I mean, that's like a three part answer. You okay. know, so like today there, there's no change. There's not going to be any change for a while. What has happened is any future projects that are going to be developed are now going to be using other technologies. But most of the smart flash people have been preparing for this for a while. Mm -hmm. So like myself included, although I've done a ton of flash work over this past year, I've been doing a lot of JavaScript and jQuery and HTML5 stuff as well. And so like all the things that flash used to do really, really easily, JavaScript and jQuery has taken that over, but it took, it took that over like a while ago. And now that CSS three is becoming more and more in mainstream use, even though not all the browsers support all of the, the cool fun things, the, the flash development stuff isn't really going to change in my opinion for a while. You're still going to have flash banners. And I think anywhere from the next three to five years, the technology will still be around. What really bums me out is that Adobe screwed this up so bad. So, so bad. So how many kinds of phones are out there? If mm -hmm. you were to take a guess, how many kinds Kinds of phones are out there? Smartphones, any, any kind of phones that can run the internet. How many would you uh, say strictly smartphones? I mean, there's there's five. Not smartphones, like any kind of phone that can run the internet. There, there's there's 
includes Bunch, hundreds. Tons. That's exactly all, right. All, so, all the flip phones are all different makers. So Adobe, they, they made their name, or not Adobe, but Flash made its name in the Macromedia days because you really only had to worry about Mac, Linux like later on, and PC, and if you could get it to run in the different browsers. So there was like five or six considerations. Now that mobile has hit and there's all of these different ways to consume the web, now you enter in tablets and televisions and refrigerators and toasters and all sorts of crazy things like that. Mm -hmm. Adobe was trying to make a flash player, an internet browsing flash player for all of these devices. Mm -hmm. And it just was not going to happen. It was not really profitable. So what they did at the same time that they laid off 750 people, they said, we're not really going to do the browser thing on mobile devices. And I judge how big news are whenever the thing that I do for a living ends up in mainstream media. My dad has no idea what I do. He thinks I fix printers. He has no clue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so yeah. stuff about Flash was on CNN, Forbes, um, the New York Times. Like this is like geek stuff on, on front page news that doesn't normally happen. And all of the headlines read things like Flash dead, Steve Jobs was right, like that sort of thing. <laughs> and and so what's crazy is what Adobe really did is they said, we're not going to do this one thing anymore. But meanwhile, you can use our technologies to build apps for mobile devices. And that was just like a small little footnote. So they botched this thing up. So now in everyone's mind, everyone that's mainstream that doesn't really do this, Flash is completely dead. It's, it's over. And I think that's sort of a shame on their part because of a PR thing. It really seems like, it, it sounds to me like the whole HP thing that went down a couple months ago, where they were... They, 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 it was came out that they're going to get rid of the, the the PC division, the home PC division, and and uh, the you know, all the different things they said they were going to do or not do with WebOS. That was basically, hey, well, WebOS is dead. It's it's out. That, that, that we're done. But really, they're not. They're looking at other options. They want it for printers. Uh, it, it's been an ongoing thing, and even like a new, I think a new CEO stepped up. It's like, yeah, we're not doing any of that stuff we said we were going to do. Actually, and that really sounds like it's what Adobe's doing. It, it's. It's very, very similar. And what really sucks is there's so many smart people that are there that have stepped forward and said, you know what? Our bad. We were really bad about how we, you know, gave this news out. Mm -hmm. But the damage is already done. You know, you get headlines like that. There was a headline in a major news publication that said, ding dong, Flash is dead. <laughs> Yeah, and, that, and like, that's it. And you to the can't recover to the public, from that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the worst PR you could possibly get in that situation. Well, I, I, the other question I'd like ask about that. I mean, we were saying last week that Flash will remain as a tool of sorts for quite a long time. It always has been a tool. It just created a problem when it was overused, i.e., restaurant website on mobile device. It never really worked out. But uh, as much as so, the kind of people who are going to watch like NBC and see Ding Dong, Flash is dead. How many of those people are actually aware of what is Flash and what isn't? And, and is that actually going to impact anybody? That, that's the thing. Like, it doesn't. But what it impacts are, like, so people like me, um, I've given my 20s to Flash, and it did me really well. Like, I met a lot of really cool people. I've made a lot of money, and I learned object-oriented programming and all sorts of stuff. But the, my future stakeholders are now making in a, a terrible, uninformed decisions because right. of headlines like that. And so just like you said, Rob, Flash is going to continue to be to be used. And so I'm trying to explain this to my students, and this is the analogy, and I think this is a great analogy. You guys have all heard of IBM. What does IBM do these days? Uh, they uh, Cash registers. I, I just saw it. <laughs> I, seriously, seriously, like IBM, they I, do they do barcode scanners. The, actually, yeah, I the, deal the, with them every day. The self the self checkout at uh, Sam's Club was an IBM machine. I'm like, oh, yeah. how quick they bought Symbol. That's why. Yeah, all right. I mean, they went and, they went broad. They went enterprise. They went. Business. You're, you know, that's exactly they got, they right. Got rid of the personal and if computer. you ask your parents, like, what does IBM do? They're like, make compute. I don't, you know what? I don't know. I just know that they're around. Flash is going to be exactly like that. So for people like me, that tool is going to be around for a while because it's a great animation tool, mm -hmm. but it's going to go from publishing Swifts to now being a PSD format. You don't trade PSDs with you know civilians you only trade psds <laughs> with other designers so it's not gonna yeah, be true, yeah. so basically the change is like uh the, the the thing we always talk about is like the restaurant is going to come to is going to come to you and say hey let's make a flash site they're going to come to you and say hey let's make a site that does this this and this that's exactly and you're right like, well i can use flash to do that or 
Now I can use, say, HTML5 to do that thing. Or you'll use Flash and export out sprite animation sheets. Mm -hmm. Or use Flash and export out, like, HTML5 and CSS3 animation. Like, it's still going to be a tool that's going to be in the mix for a while. It was just so poorly communicated as to what's really happening. And so the other major gains that Adobe is making with Flash is 3D games. It's mm -hmm. crazy insane how good their 3D is. The last couple of versions, yeah, were, were very... Were, uh, they started tapping into the GPU. And they're using this thing called Molehill. So they're targeting platform games, like Xbox games, are okay. being created with Flash. It's insane. And then... You can't get away from Flash Media Server. Those inroads are already there. So regardless of whether or not your device is seeing it, seeing it in the Flash player, it's being delivered to you via Flash, and it might be converted along the way. But those media servers are already out there in droves. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to change. It's not going to change at all. So the technology will still be around, but you won't know it if you saw it. But can we finally not sell an Android tablet saying it runs Flash? <laughs> is, that well, the, is that maybe yeah. the most important thing here? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's not a buzzword anymore. It, it's, it's like, oh, that thing is dead. And they hung their hat on it, and I would be super mad if I was them because, like, what's there? So Adobe said that they're going to support, like, the next release out, and then um, after that it's like, n you know. Um, and also along with this, I, th I think the same day or within a day, uh, supposedly Silverlight's going to be dead after the next version. Yeah, but they were saying that for a while, though. Yeah, they, it's just never really... Which I'm concerned, because isn't Netflix run on that? In the browser, at least? Yeah, yeah. but a lot but they'll, of... The, they'll go back to Flash or something else. Yeah, like and that. I think the other big thing with Adobe is that they took Flex, which was a framework on top of ActionScript, mm -hmm. and they open-sourced it, which is good and bad. So the good is, like, now it's out in the community, and the community can do whatever they want. But the bad news is it's not really backed by Adobe really anymore. So just, they don't have, like, the, the promotion and the support as far as that goes? No, it's it's not a focus. Yeah. It was just yeah. kind of like, this. we have this cool thing and all these tools. We don't want to throw them away. Let's just give them to the community. And so, hey, here you go. And that made a lot of enterprise people very upset. And what was Flex in comparison to, like, say, Flash? Or um, I, I, okay, so this is what's going to happen. Some some nerds out there are going to get really mad at my analogy. <laughs> They're going to get really upset. <laughs> but this is how it is. They're like .NET widgets, if you will. Like, if okay. you want a calendar, you write this thing called – it's it's this language called MXML. It's like HTML, but, you know, for Adobe. And you're like, calendar, boom, and you have a calendar. But all that is backed by these class files that are all in ActionScript. But all of these – you know, widget-like software components that you want all the time, like windows that expand and collapse and calendars and, and widgets and carts and, and uh, viewing tables and charts. Flex was really good for that because in Flash, you'd have to build all them by hand and it was not so fun to do that. Mm -hmm. So it would manage like your Chrome and, and all of the things that you would expect like widgets to do. That's what it, Flex does or did, I suppose. So that's my take on it. Like personally, I'm not like upset because I've been writing in lots of different stuff. Uh, I just finally my Apple thing went through, so I've been learning Objective C like a beast, um, and it's pretty cool stuff. A lot of people are afraid of it. I'm not. I don't know. It's and, weird. And you really do have to future proof you. You can't. You can't like yeah. like you know, I talk about with Final Cut. It's like all these people are mad because Final Cut changed so drastically. You know, guys, tools are going to change. You know, every couple you, you years, have, you have to be up with that. You know, yeah. I, I think I'm sorry if you're still using Adobe Premiere Six, you might have something to consider. <laughs> there, you know, I eh, you know, um, but. <clears throat> If you depend on anything technology based, I mean, everything fall, falls under Moore's law to some degree, and it's all going to develop, and it's all going to change, yeah. and it's all going to but it is new stuff. But it is if you just bury your head in the sand, you don't keep up with the news. You're probably going to be out of a job in here. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. everything comes back around. Like JavaScript was the thing back in like the late '90s, and then they were like, "Oh, you could turn it off. No good." Flash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And then some dude wrote an article and they're like, Ajax. Oh, my God. Conferences, magazines, like yeah, Web yeah. 2.0, like and like everything comes back around. Yeah, I don't know. That's how we have some social media, too. He's like, oh, we got this Google Plus. We got to use it. He's like, yeah, but nobody's really there yet. Yeah. Well, we got to use it. I mean, I'm using it. I'm figuring it out in case everybody does show up to the party. 
so that when I get asked, you know, hey, I'm here. I've got the Coke and the chips. Hey, I'm already set (laughs) up. We got a table ready for you, you know. Um, But, you know, other than that, I don't expect like I'm not going to promote, hey, I do Google Plus or anything like that. I can make your company Google Plus capable. (laughs) Michael Sorg now with Google Plus. Yeah, there you go. You know, but um, but, you know, you got to keep ahead of it, you know, just in case. Like, is this going to be the next thing? If it goes this way, how am I going to deal with that? How do I convert your Facebook to that? You know, I mean, that's that's something to, to, to keep out there, you know. But, yeah. <clears throat> um, well, as something something less sad. Let's, let's go well, with it's that. not sad. It's, <laughs> just, not it's sad. just normal. It's, like yeah. every couple of years, you, you're, you're going to have to update your skill sets, you yeah. know. Yeah. Especially if you're a web developer, like responsive web design. Now it's important that you have to do that because everybody wants that now. You know, a couple of years ago, you had to make a separate mobile site. Now you do responsive, you know, and writing apps are becoming more and more a part of what a normal web developer is kind of being asked to do, mm-hmm. you know. So you just you deal with it. Definitely. Definitely. So um, let's hit the news and. uh we, there is none. There's, there is none. No news. There's no news. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> happened, nothing happened. Nothing happened over Thanksgiving. So it was a little light, unfortunately. People were too sleepy. People were too sleepy from the trip, tryptophan. Yeah. It's a myth. Don't spread that. What? Oh, <laughs> we're spreading That's it. like all they talked about at, 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 at dinner. It's like, oh, here's tryptophan, you know. I hate like, that so much. <laughs> why, there's there's, why like, is it there's wrong? so much misinformation in the because world that I fight tryptophan in, so hard. There's not enough in turkey to affect a human being. Yeah, there's actually a higher concentration of tryptophan in beef than there is in turkey. So what if I ate the entire yeah, turkey? Yeah, but Steve Jobs said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no turkey scientist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the carbs, kids. Jeez. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so uh once again those those funny politicians are are trying to uh uh throw out some some interesting laws uh my favorite in yours joe lieberman <laughs> oh that hey guy's that back? Guy? yeah that, that guy? guy's back like didn't that guy get down on mortal Kombat? i back can't in the say day? anything you got, <laughs> what i cannot say anything in this segment <laughs> Because I cannot say it without saying words that I need to what say. What if you say it with a droopy dog uh, uh, impression? I'm just going to shake my head. <laughs> so, let's see. Joe Lieberman uh, really wants Google to put a terrorist flagging button on Blogger. Blogger. Um, uh, for, so, uh, Riz because... asked the question, who's going to police it? And who's who's going to police it to see who's really a terroristic blog post and not just a random troll flagging? All right. First answer to the question, it's not actually going to happen because these things don't actually happen. Yeah, this is this guy uh, making his constituents happy. The he looks uh, sad. The very <laughs> – if you He, is, to, he look, is always if sad. If you hated everything that's fun, wouldn't you be sad too? Um, <laughs> so he's you know making his constituents happy up there in – isn't he Connecticut or something? It looks like Massachusetts, the chat room Connecticut. Froze. Yes, Connecticut. Um, don't worry about the chat room. I'm just – Don't worry about the chat room. You don't worry about the but, chat room. Um, this is one of those things that um, in order for Google to like remain a company that everybody doesn't hate necessarily, mm-hmm. they couldn't really do something like this. And it's just like a really silly uh, – like when you consider the internet and functioning of information and things like that, having a little button that says, you're a terrorist is like, really funny. You know, just you know, just put it on there like you put the spam button and uh, like right <laughs> beside the plus one button maybe – and, Would you uh, like to flag this email as a bomb and, threat? And ignore it. <laughs> yeah, but you, you say these things in jest, but people think that you can just do that. I know. You know? Yeah, I hate like, these oh, just, uh, you know, it'll take a couple seconds, right? <laughs> That's what we're talking about. These people yeah, are just throw a, yeah. a button. It's just, yeah. two, just make it. Here, tell you what. I'll open up MS Paint. I'll make it for you. <laughs> I know that's the hard part. And then <laughs> you just stick it up on Blogger. Just put it on every post. It's fine. No big deal. Pain is alive and well, sir. You know it. Hey, yeah, like, I like we use... need more profiling, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you, like, don't you already have my Facebook, you know? Um, It'll be like, remember in uh, AOL Instant Messenger when you could uh, well, you could warn somebody? Yes. And if you warn them like X amount of time over a certain period, they like couldn't send messages or whatever it was? Yes. So like there's a... You, you terrorist somebody. And yeah, you would terrorist them. somebody, and then the FBI breaks down their door, and they get arrested. And you're like, ha you can't send me messages anymore. <laughs> exactly. Let me just point out that this guy hurts my heart. Your heart? Yes, he hurts me. Okay. 
This isn't, and this isn't the first thing he's been involved with. No. What was the other things he was involved with? He attacked video games previously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I think there was a list of, uh, he was infamously had, I think every year he had a list of, like, the top ten worst games. Yeah. And, like, Mech Warrior was on it one year. Yes. Like, it, it was, like... Like, this guy has you absolutely pay no... To any of this? this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. He looked for uh, what he conceived as violence, or mm-hmm. what his staff conceived as violence... Like, I don't know what people are willing to work for this guy. Mm. That he's getting these lists of I video games. What, do you, <laughs> you want to work with? Do you want to work? No, with I guy? don't. But I, I can, I can profile the people who might want to work. For well, him. yeah, it's gonna. It's the people that Nebraskans. 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 Uh, Nebraskans. Fans, fans of Ted Stevens, <sighs> perhaps. <laughs> What about Ted DiBiase? Ted DiBiase. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I mean, you know, mothers, and they're afraid of everything technology that they don't. Mothers, all of the mothers, all the soccer moms. That oh man, here we go. Um, Everybody's looking at me like no, seriously. I mean, Um, but yeah, no, but yeah, no. All the all the parents that instead of wanting to learn what their kids are getting into and be parents, or want the government to take care of them, and this guy's. Stepping right up into that role, and even if nothing like this ever passes, they remember. Oh, that's the guy that said that this was a good idea that it, we know is not a good idea, and I'm going to vote for him next time. And that's why he's still in office after 20 years, probably longer. My God, he's old. Mm-hmm. He needs to have a plane accident like Ted Stevens. Oh, that's okay. Me. Oh, and we're moving on. <laughs> that's me. I'm no pa- plane scientist. But... I'm no plane scientist. <laughs> remember that time done? that Sonny Bono crashed into a tree? That was a skiing accident. That was a skiing accident. Yeah, that was skiing. I meant to say skiing. What did I say? Plane. plane. I got the plane thing stuck in my head. You're going to get a terrorist button now. Yep. (laughs) Oh. I just flagged you. Darn it. Joe Lieberman's going to show up at my door. (laughs) And be sad. And shake his fist at me. (laughs) (laughs) That's what what he does. All right. (laughs) Wow. Other bad news uh, or great ideas. Uh, Google piracy filter removes top BitTorrent sites from autocomplete and instant search results. We yeah. don't start searching from them, but I can't get to my BitTorrent sites quicker now. It's discouraging the use of, of a system which may or may not encourage the use of something that may or may not be pirated material. <laughs> yes. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and sad um are they doing this for pressure or just to say hey we did something guys i don't know just to but, appease maybe i mean google gets a lot of complaints about this stuff it's why joe lieberman wants them to have a terrorist button exactly because <laughs> a lot of, for a lot of people i mean um the google is their their main search certainly for most people mm-hmm well, a lot of people. I know Yahoo is still a big player and Bing is still pretty big, but Google is, is is sitting pretty high. So for a lot, like you ask the people who don't really understand, like this is a browser and this is owned by Google and it's called Chrome and things like that. And like, how do you use the internet? Well, I use Google. What's your browser? I use Google. Like that's an answer. That's yeah. Facebook. Like Facebook. Is Google the is thing. the internet. Facebook's yeah, the internet. Google is the entire AL, internet. AL, so AL, they AL get AL all of the internet. pressure for, hey, people are doing this bad thing. If you could discourage them from doing that bad thing. Congratulations. You're the internet. You're now responsible. I have an awesome, awesome story from back in the day. So in the late 90s, we got this tech support call, and this lady's like, I need to talk to Bill Gates. We're like, (laughs) what? She's like, I need to talk to Bill Gates. And they're like, "Uh, well, what about? You need to tell him that Microsoft Internet Explorer is down. (laughs) I'm not even kidding you. This is a real deal. For real. For real. That's tremendous. It is amazing. And so um, basically what happened is like, her ISP, I don't know, hiccuped or whatever. And so our guy like walked her through flipping the switch and getting it back on. And she's like, okay, it's better now. (laughs) (laughs) Microsoft internet Explorer is down (laughs) alert. Mr. Gates. (laughs) He needs to know. He would want to know. No, he would so want to people, know. Yes, Bill, Bill always wants to know. So many people don't understand how this information gets to their box. I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty much right. I mean, I mean, uh, somebody thinking their hard drive is memory. You know, I mean, just people just don't don't get this stuff. Well, I mean, think about but, how but many why, like but computer why geeks. They? But why would they? Think about how many computer geeks don't really understand how a television works. You know. There's photon cannons and weird electronic stuff. It's crazy talk. That's true. That's true. As long as there's pretty moving pictures on the box, you're okay. Yeah, exactly. Like the like the ones right in front of me. 
Hey. 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 Um, and Rob back there. There he is. Hi. There you go. Uh, speaking of Internet Explorer, Josh, you brought up an interesting double-digit fact about Internet Explorer before. Yeah, IE10. There was a, If you go to news.com, it's their lead story right now. They're talking about IE10. It should be in a wider release for beta or whatever soon. And it's supposed to be very web standards friendly. and uh, So they say. Yep. So they <clears> say. Didn't they say that about uh, IE8? Um, no. No. I, 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 <laughs> no, they definitely no, didn't. No. Say that. No. <laughs> no. Well, there they is. said that it would be cool if it. Yeah, there it is. Well, where's, where, I feel what, like they've been pushing, here? like, we're going to be cool like Firefox. Oh, th- this the is, hell, there's this a is an ad. Right click on it. Right click on it? <laughs> yeah. I don't think this computer's fast enough. See, that's it's what Flash, Flash does for you. <laughs> there you go. And you want to take that away, Mr. Jobs? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, yeah, there it is. I E I E ten build for Windows eight. There you go. Uh, so, I mean, this is a lot. We were talking about beforehand. This is a lot faster than we're used to Internet Explorer being. I mean, I have to half of these probably aren't even updated for Internet Explorer because I don't use it. Um, well, but the, yeah, the I feel like the release cycles cycle are really over fast. the last couple of years. Yeah, because yeah, cool. yeah, I mean, what 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 is a six that sat around for years? I mean, sure. years before Firefox decades. finally stepped up. Decades. <laughs> it felt like decades. <laughs> 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 but um, but you know, especially when you uh, have you opened up Chrome lately? What or are we up to 13, 14, 15 it's, by now? Uh, I, I think and, thirteen or fourteen. And I didn't even know. I you know, I go well, that's up, because they silently update. Exactly, and it's tremendous. Every once in a while, you get some some hiccup. Where it's like, why did I crash on that site out nowhere? All uh, right, I've got numbers for you. Uh, okay. Explorer six uh, was in existence for about five years. Seven was in for about three. Eight was in for uh, two years. Nine has been in since March fourteenth, two thousand eleven. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. That that. Well, look percent. at the Firefox numbers. Yeah. Oh, jeez. They're like months. Like you yeah, get absolutely. you get Firefox five for like two months. You know how many computers I come across where I had, it was like, hey, this thing doesn't work. You're still on Firefox three, and they're up to like what eight now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I've got a very large chart in front of me. Hold on. <laughs> you handle that chart. Um, it's Firefox six, eight stable, oh, nine okay. beta, ten alpha, and eleven oh, alpha geez. currently exist. Yeah, wow. there's something crazy like that. Yeah, wow. I don't even know where what a popper is. Uh, whatever. Um, but I, and especially after using Chrome for so long, like getting go into Firefox, like oh, I got to update. Ah, this to, takes to, to, this to takes to help forever. blow your mind here. Uh, Firefox three point six was released on November eighth, two thousand eleven. Hmm. Three point six. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> all this year. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Because they're trying to they're trying to make sure that they have all the HTML five and CSS three stuff. And there's competition now. Well, and there's like four browsers I can pick. I, Safari, God, you well, know, I mean, even I, you, you can get by with Safari pretty good. Safari is awesome, dude. It's like, oh, it's, it's yeah, I mean, really good. It's when really when good. I need a separate bra- browser to throw some like other like YouTube account in to jump between. Uh, it, it's usually Safari because it's like, well, it should behave mostly the same way Chrome does because yep. it's WebKit. Yep. So, I mean, that's that's been pretty nice for it. So, and that 3D effect when you see your bookmarks at the front of it, that's kind of cool too. My so. biggest complaint about Safari is that whenever you load in a page, mm-hmm. the elements don't load in as quick as like in Firefox. The the amount of time is is the same, but in Firefox you get to watch them all appear. Okay. In Safari it like holds on this white screen for about a second and a half longer than what I am really ready to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? It feels like it's locked Not up. It's a nitpick yeah. here, yeah. but well, I mean, when you spend your life working on like like you're debugging your own stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's And you're just like, wait a minute. That, that half second of doubt is enough to raise your blood pressure just a little bit. Absolutely. That's like me noticing a flawed pixel in, in video, probably. Yeah. Like that thing's and, and it's me standing on a trade show floor going, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Chachi's gone. Chachi is, is... Is he making out with the water heater? Yeah, he. I, I'm not, I can't even put the camera on him right now. We would just get pulled off the internet. Um, and now there is... <laughs> I don't even know. Um, well, but there were some cool things in the article for IE10. Okay. Um, like the array stuff. So that's going to be like lots of bits of information. Mm-hmm. Um, there were a couple other performance, like really big. Oh, hit testing. That is awesome. 
So you're going to see a lot more JavaScripty games. Um, and I've been doing a lot of like canvasy stuff lately too, and that's pretty cool. But it's really like HTML5's version of the Flash Player, really. Mm. I don't know. Hmm? So it's going to be another player? No, 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 no. Can- Canvas to me is like the same deal. Okay. It's like a black box that you can, you know, draw pixels on and do all kinds of stuff that is not indexable. You know, like all the same problems that Flash had in the early days. Canvas has all those problems now. It's not accessible, like that sort of thing. I have, uh, I found my favorite quote from this article. Uh, Features in the fourth IE10 platform preview enable better handling of binary data, such as files. (laughs) Such as files. (laughs) All of the binary data, such as files. Thanks for narrowing that down for us, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, you know, Microsoft also is doing something uh, interesting on phones. Um, I, I found this today, just actually a little bit before the show. Uh, you can enable you can in your Android and iOS device. You can experience Windows Phone Seven via what? the web. You go to this this website, which is like aka dot ms slash wp demo. That sounds legit. <laughs> is that what it is, or yeah, am I about to now get now? They it. have my credit card information. Uh, Am I getting actually, hacked? You want to play with this on the camera there to show off a little bit? How do I do that? Um, it should Where be loaded up. To? Uh, go, go, to, go to that one right there. No, 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 like, uh, yeah, I'll put you on there. Wow. there you, whoa, that's me. That's me. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, so you load up this web demo. You hit the start the demo at the bottom. And it's basically, it loads up the interface for a Windows Phone 7. Cool. And you go, go in and click click on one of those yeah (laughs) aka dot ms slash wp demo and it's kind of cool i mean it's 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 just and you had some thoughts about it josh it sucks it sucks (laughs) yeah (laughs) not not a fan not a fan of it not a fan but uh like how do i get back from here yeah i couldn't figure that out Oh, maybe I hit this plus button. Oh, I just added an agenda. Oh, I have like all these like these orbs are telling me what to do. It's kind of yeah, like, it's kind of stepping you through and say, hey, touch this and here's your contact. And it's got stuff filled in. I feel like these are save points for Sonic the Hedgehog. You know? <laughs> I'm like, what am I? Oh, no. What did I do? But I mean, more it, details. It, it's an interesting way to be like, hey, maybe you'll like this phone. You know, not happy with your Android. Check this out. But then again, if your Android kind of runs bad, I bet this probably didn't run that good either. So, I have an idea. Mm. Get an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm stuck. Like it's like a choose your own adventure book, but I can't turn back because I forgot the page number. You know. <laughs> now I'm getting eaten by a dragon. Whoa! And it just made noise. It just uh, vibrated. Dragon, oh, oh, it's just it's just probably Twitter or something. Oh. It's on pleasure mode. It is on pleasure mode. It is. There's nothing pleasurable about that UI. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh. No pleasure shall come no. from Windows Mobile ever again. And this is why they need to make giant iPhones in New York City in order to get people excited. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a. Uh, I'm happy there's another platform that isn't as bad as Windows Phone Six was because. That was rough. It's stylus and everything. So I mean, it, 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 um, you know, much like, you know, much like everything else. I'm glad that there's competition. I'm and pretty psyched. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Siri hacks. There's there's been a lot of them this week. Have you been reading up on this, Rob? Uh, Siri hacks. No, I have not read it, been reading this at all. Uh, Siri, you check this out. <coughs> Siri, I am excited about it. From the headline, I'm excited. Siri about hacks it. control your car and media center. Um, they've been doing a lot of stuff. There's a proxy hack that came up last week, so people are, are reprogramming it to to because basically, basically what happens is it's hitting the server every time you use Siri, uh, and it's whatever commands you know Apple has set up for it. There's a whole list of it if you go to information. It says you know the types of things to ask it, which interface with. You know, stuff that's on the phone, Apple stuff that's on the phone. But apparently people can go in and, and, and give it other commands to to respond to. And uh, and, and this one, they've uh, written code that allows them to start, stop, open the trunk and activate the alarm on his Acura using the kind of voice controls you've come to expect from Siri. Wow. So it's like Knight Rider. Yeah. Yeah, but creepier. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, why creepier? Have you heard the voice for Siri? Yeah. Yeah. Oh come on! That's kind of creepy. It's got. You should hear some of the stuff Chachi asks. It gets kind of creepy. 
I think it's pretty awesome. I've been waiting since a little toddler for stuff like this to happen. I feel like the future is here. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we're actually working on like a real nerdy dashboard thing for work where we can like, cause we all use stuff like Foursquare and I take pictures when I'm on the road and we track like all the beers we drink and we want to have, in addition to all the stupid stuff, we want to have legitimate like tracking of gear and inventory stuff on just a giant display in the studio. And I think we're going to try and hack Siri to make it so we can talk to it like the computer on the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. That's, that's and that tremendous. my wife totally approves. Nice. She's a huge Star Trek fan. Awesome. They actually had, uh, what was I, I, I was listening to a tech news today where one of the guys that designed a lot of the original, like, set stuff for Star Trek and did the technical manual. Uh, I believe it's Trek. What did I say? Not track. I believe it's oh, Trek. That's like I used to say Muffets. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a childhood thing. Sorry. Um, and sometimes I, I go back. Uh, but it, like the the, uh, the the pads that they would hand. So, you know, they have to sand, hand something to Picard. He would, he would sign and hand it back. Like it was like they were a lot thicker than we have for, for iPads now. You know, he's like, he's like, I didn't even know we get that good you know that's awesome so i mean that's 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 pretty cool that's pretty cool um we're doing a lot of connect hacky stuff at school yeah 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 I mean, we were talking about that the one night yeah yeah we um me and some students are working on a motion controlling simon mm-hmm. um so it'll be kind of like ddr basically and it's coming along pretty good it's not amazing but it's okay what are you doing something where uh you something in the hallway yeah yeah we do yeah. these projections in the hallway uh, we cause a lot of trouble. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> and people come up and they think it's magic. Like they'll move their arms around and they they move these orbs. Um, we have that. And then we had a paratrooper game where you would like drop a parachute guy like on a target. There and, was um, something where they, they, I don't think it was connect, but they projected on a screen like somebody was dancing in the middle of like a like Grand Central Station or some train station, some some big where people are moving, or maybe an airport or something, and 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 they just had a video of people interacting with that the whole time. That's awesome. You know? And you know, how would they react to this? Because you know they see it up on the screen, they see them, and then someone would go up to the girl like this or, or something. And uh, but it, that's is a really cool social experiment for stuff like that. It is. So. It's super cool. Uh, we learned a lot about human behavior. If you're off to the side and lots of people crowd around, other people will come. Mm-hmm. If you get in their way, they don't want to cross in front of the beam. Whatever the projection is, they do not want to cross in front of it. They'll, they'll apologize and say, I'm sorry. They feel like they're interrupting. So if you get in their way, nobody really wants to be a part of it. But if you're off to the side and there are crowds around, you can't get people to stop coming. Mm. It's so weird. It's, a, it's, it's, something, it's something primal there. It's the mystery, man. They love the mystery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's that lizard brain getting the best of you. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the rumors about the Connect Two? Uh, of course, you know. Great thing, Chachi's not here, so we don't have to hear about. It. He doesn't want to move with his video games. Uh, but uh, it will supposedly read lips and track your emotional state. Whoa! What? What? How is it tracking my emotional state? Uh, Wait, I bet it could do that based off of your eyebrows and stuff. Well, if it's if it's your reading your lips, <laughs> your eyebrows. I <laughs> <eye> demonstration, <laughs> is right? Fantastic. Smiling, you know, yeah, I go, well, like, it, you know, if it's reading lips, it's going to be able to read your face. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense. So on the box, it's going to say, you know, not for children ages six and under or adults with Botox. Yeah, exactly. Well, it just wouldn't calibrate. Exactly. <laughs> it just wouldn't calibrate. You're yeah. just happy all the time. <laughs> exactly. Chachi, here, you're, you're here. Uh, the new, the new rumor with uh, Connect. Hi, how's it going, Chach? Yeah, oh, wait, let's I'm turn back. your mic on. There you are. I'm back. So the new news with Connect is the uh, Connect 2 was supposedly read the lips and track your emotional state. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want that? <laughs> well, what, 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 what is an application for marketing information, for this? obviously. Well, there you go. I guess. How, how mad were you when you got that Coke com- commercial <sighs> for the 50th time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you don't have well, to. Well, actually, you know what? I take back a lot of what I said about the Kinect. Okay. Um, you didn't get a Kinect with your Xbox, did you? No. Okay. Hell no. I don't have an Xbox, but I have a Kinect. What? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you 3D develop. work, that's why. No. Right. No, you develop no, something. No, I write programs for it. Oh. <laughs> that is the hand motion for yeah. developing programs. <laughs> no, this is Kinect programs. Kinect programs. Oh, okay. 
Send. Smiley face. But um, not to be confused with, I'm blogging. I don't know. That's different. They're releasing... They, they got the hint that more adults are buying the, the, the 360 for themselves mm -hmm. than children. Okay. So they're releasing more adult-themed uh, video games for the Kinect. Uh, what do you mean by adult themed? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, uh, adult, like, uh, violent video games. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I think there's some fighting games coming up and everything, so, um, but, and also, you know, with the update coming up at the beginning of December here, you're going to be able to control most of your Xbox with the Kinect, including, like, I think Netflix and everything, too. We're mm -hmm. talking about, like, Minority Report, waving your hand to, to make a selection kind of stuff, voice control, uh, was a... You can do that now, though. Can you do that now with it? Well, I mean, like you can write software what? that does it. Not Chachi. There you go. There <laughs> yeah, but you, you are. can you can write stuff that takes advantage. But of those the things. Xbox doesn't do that. I don't know. Like I don't. I'm not doing anything for the Xbox. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and also, they're going to be releasing a newer uh, uh, Connect for the PC for presumably developers. And if you got, I mean, so. be very careful. Be very wary of that. Yeah. Very, very wary of that. What Microsoft released um, an API uh, earlier this year, um, all for Connect stuff, and there was some crazy stuff and the uses and terms that were like, if you use our API, anything you make, we own. Oh, really? We own it. Yes. Wow. Yes. So be very careful. Like most of the stuff that I do um, is like hacking through like processing. I'm trying to get more into open frameworks, like that sort of thing. And there's a rumor out there. Don't know if it's true, but I heard a rumor that if you try to connect your connect to the new Microsoft API, the, there's some sort of firmware update that happens that prevents you from compiling with these other third party tools. Don't know if it's true and I'm not going to find out. Wow. Yeah. So, like, Microsoft did something super cool. They made this thing, and, like, people are making awesome stuff with it. And then they they were like, wow, so we'll release all these tools, but we own it. All of it. Huh. That sucks, man. That's not cool. That's, yeah, that's, that's not the first time they've done something like that, though. Now, it could be that, like, more things have happened since then, but th I'm talking, like, midsummer was when all this stuff came out. Okay. Okay. Um... Well, you mentioned about the mood stuff, and we were kind of joking about the commercials, but you know that could, they could go that way um, because they've been talking about this. But they finally confirmed Xbox 360 to get 26 Verizon FiOS TV channels for subscribers starting in December. So basically, your Xbox is your it can be a cable box for 26 of the channels that you probably have way more than that of. Um, but I'm sure they're clearing it like channel by channel with these guys. So I mean, what do you think about this? About, about you know, more so than, you know, like how I'm using it with my Hulu and Netflix, it's become the TV center with the Xbox. Well, let me ask you this. Do you have cable? I canceled my cable and upped my internet and I have Netflix and Hulu. Yeah, like I haven't, Xbox. I haven't had cable since like 2002. And it was a lot harder without Netflix and Hulu, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I yeah. mean, but uh, like most of the stuff. Is you just get right off the internet, and I don't even mean like BitTorrent. I mean yeah. like Hulu for stuff like today or tomorrow, and then Netflix for all the stuff from before. Except for freaks and geeks. Come on, guys, get it up there. <laughs> Come on. Uh, but isn't this a little redundant? Because it's like if I already have cable, like I already have cable, and 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 then I have the box, and then my Xbox is probably hooked up through the same box uh, at the same TV. Mm -hmm. If it's like a family thing, unless the kid has it up in his room, then maybe it's like, okay, I don't have to buy another cable box. And he gets these few channels, but still it really just seems redundant for the average person that doesn't have like three LCD TVs. Maybe you know? the Xbox turns into, you know, like our, Wii is like the Netflix machine. That's what it yeah. does. Yeah. Like I haven't played a game on the Wii in a long time. Mm -hmm. But it might as well just be called Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our cable is Netflix. You even have a little remote that looks that yeah. right next to your other remotes. So, but, um, so for, for our household, there's no need for cable. You mm -hmm. know, there's just, the only thing that I miss is that we can't DVR anything. Yeah. But because of Netflix. The and, funniest thing is, uh, for when we, we were DVR for a while. And then when we started saying, hey, let's just watch it on Hulu, and I had a PC hooked up to the TV, uh, Missy would call it, the, let's go, let's watch, we'll see what's on the DVR. Referring to Hulu. Yeah. And it's it, like that, that whole, because it's, it's time delayed. 
for the most part. You watch it whenever you want, yep. you know, until it expires, you know, depending on what it is. Yeah, those, like, expiration things kind of annoy me. Like, I understand you got to make a dollar or whatever, but, like, if the new girl was on yesterday, I would like to watch the new girl, but I don't really want to pay your <laughs> subscription fee. Well, I'm, play- I'm paying for it so I can watch it on my Xbox and my iPad and everything by proxy. But um, if basically if a show is not on the plus, because like Burn Notice, all the USA stuff, it, or The Simpsons, is just not available, not available, because they didn't make a deal with them to be on your TV and your iPad, um, it's basically dead to me right now. And I'll just wait for it to come on Netflix. Yeah. Really at this point, or past seasons, you know. It's like, yeah, that that's fine. You know, I really would love to watch the new episodes of Psych, but I can wait, you know. Whatever. So, I don't know. It's uh, we already in like HBO Go. Like, well, I guess you have a login. It's not such a big deal. But like the Time Warner app, I can watch TV on my iPad on Time Warner if I had Time Warner, but in my house. So it's like, okay, it's just another screen in my house. You know, yeah. it doesn't seem too extendable. You know, why would I do that? You know, I guess that's why how you sell sling boxes. Because we're ADD. That's why. <laughs> how <laughs> many yeah. screens do you have in your house? Screens? Screens. Are we, screens? Let's count them all. Scre- oh, boy. I, have you seen the monitors? I under know. Here? You probably I mean, have, have you like see, 400 you see the CRTs? screens. Now, yeah, <laughs> actually, no, I have a lot of old CRTs that are now used right So, now. like, an average household has at least 10 screens. You, you think about it. I mean, there was um, I was watching a Gary Vaynerchuk uh, uh, speech yesterday, and he was asking you, like, how many of you are watching TV uh, with your iPad? How many of you are watching it with your laptop? How many are watching it with your laptop and your iPad? How much you, how, how much of you sick sick apps out there are watching it with your laptop, your iPad, and your phone? You know, mm-hmm. and that's it. I mean, that really is it. Like I'm sitting there with my at least my laptop, iPad, or phone. You know what my TV really isn't anymore? It's mm. Steelers. That's what it is. It just plays Steelers and Jeopardy. It's your Steelers and Jeopardy box. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Steelers and Jeopardy, that's it. Over-the-air channels are tremendous. I get about 25 channels now. Yeah, so do I. We get a ton Maybe, of stuff. Maybe uh, eight of them are, are religious, but hey, it's still a number. So, And uh, I can watch Rick Seabick stuff all, time, all day long. So, anyways, uh, is there anything else we missed as far as the news? I think we have everything from our rundown. Anything interesting? Did anybody go? I, I'm sorry, I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. Did anybody go Black Friday shopping? I did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. he didn't. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me describe my Thanksgiving for you. Okay. Uh, I woke up at like, well, I woke up at like nine, but I didn't leave my bed until like one in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. And then after I watched like five episodes of 30 Rock, I'm going to blow your mind. This is my holiday. This is me not working for a day. Uh, I took my Goblerito from Mad Max, put it in the oven. I saw your picture. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, paired that Goblerito with an entire can of cranberry sauce. <laughs> it was that individual. Uh, and, uh, and paired that with a, uh, a wavery uh, stingy pumpkin, which is an awful beer, by the way. Don't don't get it. And, uh, and then a couple hours later, I uh, had some Mad Elf ate uh an entire a- apple pie and uh by that time it was midnight and macy's was having like a special midnight opening and <laughs> i'm 10 minutes from downtown pittsburgh and there was nobody there so i went and i got like my whole winter wardrobe for uh like 75 percent off that's my story wow <laughs> he knows how to do it <laughs> yeah so that that was my black friday shopping all of it that was it Wow. Ain't no party like a Rob party. <laughs> Dang straight. <laughs> so, you know, further proof, nobody goes downtown in Pittsburgh, even on Black Friday. It's true. It was kind of, well, all the all the suburban weirdos. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Listen, I told you, just because I have a yard. Wait, aren't you in the city, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you have a yard. Yeah, I do. Yep. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah so what's the big yeah, deal? Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up, Rob? <laughs> We're in a city. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm not uh, living living on top of somebody else. You, uh, you suburban weirdos have uh, you have your own Macy's to go to, so nobody <laughs> nobody goes to the Macy's downtown. We have our nice away Macy's without the. You have your awful Macy's with front. like the sea of SUVs and <laughs> horrible, horrible. You people. know, somebody uh, is anybody else on local mine? 
Yeah, I am. Actually. You are on local mind. You do you know what local mind is? No. It's uh, it basically rides on top of like Foursquare, and basically if you see me checked in, like say at the cafe at the mall, somebody can say, "Oh, hey, here's another local mind." You know, I'm a local mind member or whatever, and you can ask me a question. It ties into my text and everything, so you can. So somebody actually, and it'll be, it's like, it's like, is this place busy? Is this place, what's the mood like at this place? And, you know, you go through, you get award, awards and nice little, little cats in your email. It's pretty fun. Uh, anyways, uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there at the mall and I get this, this message from local mine is like, is there any lines for parking at the mall? And it's like new. And I'm like, lines? If there's lines to get into the parking lot, I would just turn around. That's I, 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 was it like that or I think Ross I heard Ross Park Mall was that bad. It's always that bad. Not that yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I hate that Macy's because I hate that mall because <laughs> I hate the people that go to that mall. I was like, it's like a Saturday when we went uh, down down here in South. Philly. Rob so, hates you, Sword. I do so, hate Sword quite a bit. He knows yes, this. He does. He he, he he just he just lays the hate on me. So yeah. The other thing I did uh, on my Thanksgiving holiday, I bought the iTunes match. Oh yes, tell us about this now. Now AJ got Awkward this. pause for a fact. AJ, <laughs> AJ's been talking about this, and he's been uh, kind of push, putting over uh, Google Music over it. Talked me into it. I'm now dealing with that decision. Um, it's like eHarmony, right? But for your music. <laughs> yes. Yes. What, hey, I made that music? joke on Twitter. Did you really? Uh, I did. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> um, Twitter is Twitter plagiar twitter i don't know go ahead that was unintentionally plagiarized i just have bad joke taste oh Oh. that means i tell bad jokes and now i'm sad (laughs) anyways itunes match tell us about your amazing experience amazing experience all right so um since uh over the course of of i used to have like a stupid huge music collection and then it was just like my digital life became too fragmented between having so many devices and a laptop And then, like, not sitting next to something that has a big portable hard drive plugged into it all the time. Uh, So my music collection now is, like, 12,000 tracks. and That's pared down? Mine's 18. Yeah. I I know at one time I think I had, like, 60,000 tracks. Oof. I think that was my biggest tell me. You paid 99 cents for each of those tracks, right? (laughs) I did. (laughs) I absolutely did. Yes. 60,000. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that face. That face. <laughs> um, so my legitimate music collection. Um, so, yeah, I decided I was going to go. I did a bunch of reading on the iTunes match versus the Google Music versus the Amazon Music doohickey. And the general consensus was that if you have Apple devices, like the plethora of Apple devices, it makes a lot of sense to get iTunes match just because it works. Um, and it's 30 bucks, and I figured it's worth a shot. So I sign up uh, for a year. And, uh, and then I tell it to match all 12,000 of those tracks. And it matched over 11,000 of them, which I was really surprised about because I've got a lot of like weird, obscure, bunch of indie stuff, bunch of like old stuff, bunch of like, hey, there's three different versions of Alice's Restaurant type stuff. OK. Uh, and it got pretty much all of them. Uh, and the ones that it didn't get, it had no trouble uploading them. And so what I did uh, after that was I turned on the smart playlist and, uh, and I told it to show me all of the tracks that were subpar quality, which in this case was over 6,000 tracks. And I deleted every single one of them. And then I re-downloaded them in fantastic new 256K AAC non-encoded beautifulness. And it's all sitting in my Drobo over here. So for 30 bucks, I upgraded the quality of my entire music collection. That's kind of the consideration, I think. I think Which is pretty right. awesome. And then, so like, then there's that moment where you actually use the service for what it's made for and you get like all giggly. Uh, <laughs> somebody. Is, is that the it just works part? Yes, that's that's exactly it. So I was at the studio and somebody mentioned that they had the theme song to uh, The Price is Right stuck in their head. Mm-hmm. And uh, the hip hop artist known as A1 that AJ refers quite frequently to. Uh, has a track that lays over the the theme song of The Price is Right. And right there, in my hand, on a device that did not have my music collection on it, I opened up the music app on my iPhone, and I hit A1, and I hit the track. It downloaded in like a second, and there it was. 
don't need to carry my whole music collection with me because it's with me all the time. Now, please, so you didn't even mention it downloaded in a second. So it, this isn't streaming. This will load it onto your phone. if you Yeah, it will download it onto your phone. Once you request it, it downloads it onto your so phone. So this is this is how I see this, like my use case with it. Me sitting in the car, listening to whatever music, driving around and mm. making sure I take a day a week and clear my phone. You know, I, I bet it caches, just like browser stuff. Uh, I think it's technically a download with them. Like, I, I think it is tech because if you go, if like if I look at my library right now, all of my tracks have like the little icon next to them saying that I can download it if I want to, but it yeah. currently doesn't exist. Because it's, um, I think that was a a stipulation for them being mm-hmm. allowed to do this was right. it's not a stream. Yes, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna show up, but the little happy cloud there, the empty cloud, yeah. That means I don't currently have that track. Okay, but like the one with the arrow means it, it's there, right? Yeah. Okay. Which would probably be. So would this be like a secret way for me and my band to get our stuff on the cloud? <laughs> well, I, it doesn't make it available for everybody else. Actually, if you and your band want to get out on the stuff, Google Music is going to be the way for you to do it. Yeah, there you go. You can see there. Those are the uh, the A one tracks that I downloaded are the first okay. three, and then the one after that is one that can be downloaded. Okay. Okay. So they are on my phone. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... Uh, there, there's pluses and minuses to that, I think. Because now it's on your phone. Yeah, it's on your phone. You can listen to it if you're, like, taking the subway or something. You know? Yep. But it's taking up space on your phone. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't... I don't have a problem with that. I mean... Yeah. I don't have this thing filled up yet. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look who pulled out an iPhone got, Edge. I got um eight eight gigs. <laughs> Four of them are free. You know what we're using ours for? Our, our wait, what is that's like iOS three, isn't it? Yeah, it's the, this is the OG. Yeah, yeah. Like original. it doesn't get past three. No, because I I know I can't update Pandora on the one that we're using at the cafe. It, for the you reading. cannot pass Go or get two hundred dollars. No, no <laughs> not at all. <laughs> How are you holding up with that thing? It's it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it works pretty good. Yeah. As long as he doesn't sit next to anybody who has a new iPhone, because then, then you start to feel a little sad. I, I've been amazed how many how many people I've seen lately, like amongst like tech gatherings and stuff. They're like, yeah, still got the first iPhone. Doctors, uh, doctors. <laughs> like uh, uh, the one the one that I work with, like he's had one of those until like last week. I noticed he had the new one finally. It's 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 it, and those things last pretty good if you take decent care of it. It was a birthday present. A lot of my friends chipped in and got it for me. I mean, mm-hmm. I feel pretty bad. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to just dump it. Mm-hmm. So I've had but it for... it's been how many years? I've had it for three and a half. Three like, and a half it's years. It's been out for four and a half, though. That is, that is like... That is Seems like, like eternity in iOS land. It was well, in cell phone land. That's yeah. that's mm-hmm. unheard of that a lot of people keep phones out long. And it still yeah. works. Yeah. yeah. Battery charge is pretty good. Like Wow. that's I'm surprised the battery's doing so good. I use it all the time. It's my primary communication device. Nice. You actually use it to make calls? Yeah. <laughs> That's the amazing part. <laughs> yeah, I totally use my telephone as a telephone. I know. It's weird. Yeah, like, there was yeah. like some poll out on Twitter the other day, like, what's the app you use the most on your phone? And I was like, phone. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I don't think Chachi's coming back, so we might as well go ahead and wrap this without him. But we can give him a plug. Here, here you want to be Chachi? What it, Josh. How do I do that? Um, I love Joni. Yeah, good enough. Just say Chachi says dot net. Watch Unsung. Uh, Chachi says dot net. Watch what? Unsung. Watch Unsung. There you go. That's for video dot org. Uh, good enough. Good. Good Chachi impression right there. Good. Wait, uh, you don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Isn't that what he? That's what he did all night. He's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> My phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's what he did. Negative Chachi. <laughs> and you of course are at joshsagermedia.com dot com mm-hmm. at Josh Sager on the Twitters. And uh anything else you want to plug while you're at it? It's plug time. Mm. Rachel, I hope you get well soon. Oh We need to have her on the show. We need more girls on the show. We should have you guys a uh, tag team tag team in an episode here. Like we did the other one. She doesn't do a lot of the tech stuff, though. That's fine. She can just be like, yeah, I like my iPhone. You know, whatever. She has a newer iPhone than I do. Oh. 
Not that new, no, though. Not on? No, no. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and Rob, you're at robjdlc.com to get to your things. To get to my things on the internet. Do you do anything with that site yet? No, it's just kind of <laughs> do anything with that site yet? What you, <laughs> you just kind of points the things. Where, where are you going? Did you just <laughs> As I dropped my rubber band. I'm sorry. I, need to I call shins. <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah, actually, shit. no, I love and retween the the I call shins lately. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing I do things with is my Tumblr, mm-hmm. and then those things go Where's up that? on my Where's page. That? My my robjdlc dot com is like literally my digital business card. Well, that's kind of like my uh, that's kind of like my MikeSorg dot com is my uh, my about me page, which points to everything else I do. Right? Yeah, that's so, that's exactly what that is. I'm not going to do anything. So there you go. There. I call. I already shins. did something with it. I, I enjoyed <laughs> your temp, ten simple truths about uh, smart people forget. Hmm. that i can't yeah. say so there you go that's where i fit um, oh hey uh speaking of things that i've done on the internet um pro tip moment in-depth pro tip moment oh, super nerdy go. everybody everybody uh gather around gather around kids gather around the, the fire or the radio uh you may remember last week i was complaining that i uh i think it was last week i was beating my head up against the wall trying to get a bugzilla install to work here's your pro tip kids uh do not install or, or place the, the files in your directory under root. Uh, you should probably be using uh, the, the user that the account is under. This is not going to make any sense to anybody unless you're installing Bugzilla. And uh, check on uh, CPAN. Uh, make sure all of your Perl modules are up to date. That's your pro tip. Super pro tip. Holy crap. Super pro tip. Okay. And, uh, of course, all my stuff is at sorgatron.com. Well, that's not all my stuff because I also have other stuff at sorgatronmedia.com, michaelsorg.com, actually. I should just start plugging that because that kind of makes more sense, including Cute Cat is fun. Uh, I got a post up today, actually. Why is Steve Jobs like Vince McMahon? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually been thinking about this for a long time. Um, and I finally wrote a bloggy blog about it. So go check that out, sorgatron.com, for all my musings and videos and stuff about why we podcast here. Um, so that's that. And, of course, uh, go to awesomecast.com. Contact at awesomecast.com if you want to get at us, 724-258-CAST, 724-252-2278. If you want to voicemail us, follow us on Twitter, at awesomecast. Like us on Facebook, plus us or whatever you do on google plus we're at all those places converse with us let it, let us know we put the stories up through the week that we're considering as we find them uh please let us know what you think if you have any questions just like uh riz earlier today or earlier this episode uh you know we we if you have any questions for that we'll, we'll expand upon it you know or or uh, or any conversation beyond this hit us up we like doing that so thank you very much. Thank you, Josh, for being awesome. Thanks. Thank you for our awesome chat room. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. banter what and switch the camera to josh and boop whoa now show everyone your uh your mac decal oh my skin oh nice damn it's a delorean with a boot yeah parking tickets (laughs) he's stuck he can't get out (laughs) damn it You know the uh, the secret to never having to pay a parking ticket ever again in your life? Not have Just a car. Not have a car. Well, yeah. But <laughs> in a more funny way, you purposely get a boot, and then you hop on eBay, and there's a kit you can buy to remove your boot. And then every time you park your car, just place the boot next to your wheel. Wow. So, I feel like so it looks like you always have a boot. They'll be like, I can give him a ticket, but he's already booted. So I, I, feel, like, I feel like I watched a movie where that happened. And then what what happens when you get towed? What they they'll only there's like a certain amount of time in which it'll sit with a boot on it. So at the very least, the dude with the pocket protector can't put a ticket under your windshield. He has to go do something and check. Okay, on so it's at least a partial uh, fix. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend I mean, leaving it at I'm a parking meter. I'm not a boot like scientist, feet. but I think... Uh, <laughs> I'm no scientist, <laughs> but there are holes in this scheme of yours. I don't know yeah. if you're talking about boots or you're just Canadian.
Ah, uh, what's this all about? Ah, oh, that's so funny. Oh, you mean like Uggs? Uggs? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know Uggs. You don't know about Uggs? Uggs and sweatpants? Uggs and sweatpants? Yeah. Oh, I... Wait, is this like mm -hmm. at one in the morning at Eaton Park when the no, girls come No, this is like in? every no, day. Yeah, this is every, every day. day at like noon. No, no. Hey. Every day when I go into work, I see Uggs and sweatpants. Oh, I uh, yeah. I have my Uggs around here somewhere, actually. You have Uggs? I, they're the most comfortable thing on the planet, thank you very much. <laughs> he just wants to be like Tom Brady. I, think I guess so. I think I'm confusing them with Crocs. Yes, you yes. are. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. these crazy, uh, these crazy ass boots. Yeah, they're boots with the fur. Oh, dude, well, <laughs> the boots with the fur, <laughs> the, and the apple I, bottom I, jeans, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the high school games. Yeah, all the all Wait, the kids are wearing. There them. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah, there but, you uh, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I've had this. I've had this pair since high school. Right. Ugh. Ugh. Because uh, it's also Sponsor so. It's, us, there are places on the planet where Uggs are like legitimate footwear. <laughs> Apparently, Australia. No way. Uh, well, <laughs> Cape May, New Jersey, which is a shore town. Colleges. Basically, you're either wearing flip flops or Uggs. Those are your choices. It's bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Even like fishermen, dudes on boats, Uggs. Why? Comfortable. Made of leather. Fucking Done. cows. Sheep. Sheep. Fuck sheep. <laughs> Fuck sheep. What are you, Welsh? <laughs> I'm no sheep scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to carry on. Um, that's a good start. That's a good start. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. I think we got. I, I think we're good. We got. A good I'm receiving mood. reports that you and I are low. On low the, on the mic front. On the mic front. Yes. You're low on my pants. Oh. Ew. That was a vaguely homosexual joke. Vaguely. <laughs> vaguely. All right. Let's ah, vaguely. All right, I'm going to do a test here. Nobody do anything funny. You suck. This you is suck. the 79th yeah. version of this, right? Yes. <laughs> Got it ironed out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no audio scientist. <laughs> wow. Huh. I obviously am not a audio scientist, so. I'm, uh, I'm really not an audio scientist, and Josh is definitely peaking. <laughs> Changing it. I've been told that the volume is better and that my voice is in fact sexier. I didn't even touch your voice. 